हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल फिजिक्स ट्रिक्स सो लास्ट वीडियो में हमने देखा था केपलस लॉस न्यूट्रल सोल्यूशन लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन न्यूट्रल सोल्यूशन लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन के प्रॉब्लम राइट सो अगर आपने वो वीडियो नहीं देखा होगा तो प्लीज जाइए और देखिए लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में है और uh, आज हम स्टार्ट करेंगे एक्सेलेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी सो फॉर एक्सेलेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी यू हैव टू नो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डेंसिटी राइट सो सी यर वी हैव डेंसिटी सपोज टू बी राइट सो देर आर थ्री types of density first one we have linear density second one we have aerial density and third one we have volume density right those who knows this concept that is well and good but those who don't know the concept listen it's very important because this concept is used in in uh, what we can say in physics in several types right so linear density means let us suppose we have the linear object of length l mass capital m right so what is the linear density mean it is represented by lambda and it is given as mass per unit length right so this is the linear density now what is aerial density this is the formula for linear density right so what is the aerial density let us suppose we have area object right any square uh, rectangle uh, triangle and all right for that if you wanted to uh, define the aerial density then it is represented by sigma and it is given as mass per unit area likewise for volume for the volume object right let us consider a cube cuboid or anything right so it is represented by rho and it is given as mass per unit volume so these three concepts are very important linear density volume density and the aerial density right so these three डेंसिटीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ये जो है वो इंटायर फिजिक्स में बहुत बार यूज होगा राइट ये कॉन्सेप्ट जो है तो अब इसके बाद हम स्टार्ट करेंगे एक्सेलेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी राइट सो राइट सो एक्सेलेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी इज द एक्सेलेशन प्रोड्यूस बाय द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स राइट ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स और ग्रेविटेशनल Field in the gravitational field is called as acceleration due to gravity, right? So it is represented by small g. So it is acceleration due to gravity. So see here, it is represented by small g. Okay. So what is acceleration due to gravity? It is the acceleration produced by the gravitational force so what is the gravitational force we know that f is equal to g capital m small m divided by r square so let us suppose this is the earth of radius r and on which a small object is present at a distance 10 meter supposed to be right 10 meter so we can consider approximately we know that radius of the earth is 6400 km isn't it and 6400 km plus 10 m is nothing in front of the 6400 km so we approximate it this object is placed at 6400 km isn't it so this distance between this center and this center is 6400 that is radius of the earth this m capital m is the mass of the earth this small m is the mass of this small object now this uh, can be redrawn as let us suppose this is the uh, mass of the earth which is concentrated at the center of the earth right and this is small m which is placed above the surface of the earth 10 meter so we we can approximate this 6400 
kilometer distance between them that is the radius of the earth right so what is the force of attraction between these two masses the force of attraction between these two masses is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them right so f is equal to g capital f small m by r square okay now as we know by using newton's second law force is equal to mass into acceleration so we can write over here this f this f can be rewritten as mass into acceleration is equal to mass of the small object that is small m into acceleration of that object is equal to capital G capital M small m by R square okay so this small m this small m will cancel A is equal to G capital M by R square now what is this this is the acceleration produced by the gravitational force right so this is represented by small g and if you calculate the value capital G capital M by R square by putting the, all the values like capital G is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 capital M is 10 to the power in the order of uh, 10 to the power 27 30 something R is uh, 6400 0 kilometers if you put plug in all the values you will get G as 9.8 meter per second square on the surface of the earth right so this is the acceleration due to gravity now we'll see what are the variations of acceleration due to gravity now what are those variations variation due to we have variation due to height variation due to depth variation due to rotation right variation due to if you change the position of the position of uh, yourself from equator to pole right so <coughs> see here now variation of acceleration due to gravity now here g variations right variation now what are the variation variation due to due to height second due to depth third due to rotation due to position okay so do remember this these are the four variations supposed to be now we'll see one by one so firstly due to height right so i'll just tell the formulas and all see how to derive it's very simple it is capital R supposed to be so first one we are dealing with due to height so see here this is R and let us suppose object is at a height H right now what is the distance between the this mass of the earth that is which is concentrated at the center of the earth and mass of this object it is R plus H isn't it so G at this height we can write G capital M by R plus H whole square because G on the surface of the earth formula is G capital M by R square but at height H it is R plus H whole square so this is G at height H so G at height H is equal to G M by C R common so it will be R square in bracket 1 plus H by R whole square what is G M by R square See here, gm by r square is nothing but g on the surface of the earth divided by 1 plus h by r whole square. Right, so this is the formula for height. Second one, due to depth. Now, here we can approximate it, right? Like a g uh, into 1 plus h by r whole to the power minus 2 and by using binomial theorem, 1 minus 2 h by r. But that formula is valid only till 100 km, only till the 300 or 200 km. After that, you can't use that formula. Right? But this is formula valid for every range from 0 till infinite. Right? So this formula is valid. So you can use this formula. Right? Okay. Now, second one due to depth. Now, see, we have due to depth formula for due to depth is 
Firstly, let us consider this is the earth and we want the acceleration due to gravity at the depth d. Right. So, in this case, what is the, uh, this is capital R, this one is R minus d, isn't it? So, at this point, what is the acceleration due to gravity? This is g at depth d, we can write g mass of this part, inner part, right? Let us suppose that part is n dash divided by r minus d whole square because from the center this object is at what distance? r minus d distance. So, g m dash by r minus d whole square. Okay, what is m dash now? m dash we can calculate by using density concept. So, capital M mass volume is how much? 4 by 3 pi r cube in capital M the volume of the earth is 4 by 3 pi r cube in M dash what is the volume 4 by 3 pi r minus d whole cube isn't it now what is M dash then this 4 by 3 pi this 4 by 3 pi get cancelled and we will get M dash as M dash as r minus d whole cube divided by r cube into capital M now put in this formula, this m dash in this formula, you will get, see here, g at depth d is equal to g, what is m dash? r minus d whole cube divided by r cube into r minus d whole square into capital M. This cube, this square, cancel and we will get g capital M divided by R square into R minus D by that is acceleration due to gravity at depth D is equal to G R minus D whole cube divided by R cube R minus D whole square into capital M. This, this cancel out you will get GM by R square R minus D by R right. So, so final formula for this is what is this? This one is acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth right so formula for this is g at depth d is equal to g on the surface of the earth 1 minus d by r and this is g at height h right so these are the two formulas this one is for height and this one is for depth okay these are the two very important formulas are there. Right, so g at height h, g at depth d. Now due to rotation, right, and due to position. So, So now due to rotation, right? Okay, due to rotation, there is a formula for due to rotation. You have to remember that formula, and that formula is g due to rotation is equal to g on the surface of the earth minus omega squared r cos squared lambda. And this lambda is nothing but a co-latitude angle, right? So this lambda is from see here it is very easy to remember this as we know at equator acceleration due to gravity is minimum why because rotational effect is maximum so lambda must be zero so this must be the lambda okay so this lambda zero at equator so this is the equator and this is the Pole. Okay, so at equator g is minimum. So in this, to remember at equator g is minimum and at pole g is maximum. So at equator g is minimum, that means weight is minimum. Why? Because weight is mass into acceleration due to gravity and at pole G is maximum means weight is 
maximum. So you can say that whenever you go from pole to equator, your weight decreases. And whenever you move from equator to pole, your weight increases. Right? So these are the two points in rotation. And position is same as the uh, rotation, right? So position at equator G is at equator G is minimum, so weight is minimum. At pole G is maximum, so weight is maximum. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe it and press the bell icon for new updates.